The competition is called Dear Aliens and it asks young people in this area to think about what they would say if we got a signal from extraterrestrial intelligence. Now, um, this isn't just some kind of write a letter to the president competition. This has got more authenticity than that because here at ASU we have the very distinguished scientist Professor Paul Davies. And Paul Davies is head of the SETI Post Detection Task Group. So, now what this means, this means that if humanity got a signal from an alien, Paul would be the one person on planet Earth who'd have to be decide what to say in return. So you are actually writing to the person who will have to decide what to say with the aliens should they make contact. So we felt it was very important to get this out there and to ask young people what they thought. The tag of the competition is, if you had to speak for humanity, what would you say? So we're hoping that lots and lots of young people, school age students in this area will write in to us with their suggestions. And what I'd like to do on, on the blog is make it an open question so people can just post their, their own, what would they say on, on Dot Earth? Oh, we would or, love that. We would yeah. love as many people to join into this debate as possible. Because after all, we don't know when the signal from the aliens will come. I mean, it could come tomorrow or it could be, in de in, in, um, it could be several decades or further into the future. And so we felt it's very important for young people to start thinking about this because when they grow up, who knows, maybe they'll be the people who find themselves liaising with an alien life force. <laughs> of course, the other thing, to me there's value in this too because it, it allows us to pause and reflect on what it would be like to regard ourselves from someone, some other vantage point. That's a very important part of it because part of this competition asks school students to think about who are we and what have we done and how have we done it and what are the successes of humanity and what are our failures and how would you explain this to somebody from a completely different alien culture how on earth would you explain the divisions of humanity the different languages the different cultures the different countries and what do you think they would think of us and i think that's a very important part of the competition because it really asks you to stop and consider us as a whole rather than consider us in our fragments and I think we're so used to thinking of ourselves in fragments and the one thing about aliens is it would bring us all together as a united global force and I think that's a very important way to view ourselves right now because genuinely we face global challenges I mean the cl climate change for example is a global challenge and we do need to start thinking in a more unified fashion if we're going to face the very big challenges of tomorrow and that's what young people really believe that that's what young people have to start doing